having problems with loading your filament on your 3D printer or you're brand new and you are figuring out how you need to load the filament on your 3D printer. Bowden and for direct drive extruder. Here on Zachary's 3D prints. Well, in some cases, it sounds very obvious. Just put the filament spool onto a spool holder, just shove the filament right into the extruder and everything should be right, right? Well, I can imagine that if you are watching this video, you probably would have some issues with loading your filament. So there are two different kind of extruders within the 3D printing, the Bowden extruder and the direct drive extruder. Both are being loaded with filament, of course, very obvious, but one has a very long white or maybe blue color PTFE tube between the extruder and the hot end. So for the drag drive, you don't lose so much filament between the extruder and the hot end. On the opposite side, for the filament that goes to the PTFE tube, when you are going to load filament, that you have to push a lot of filament right to the PTFE tube before the hot end is going to melt the filament onto your bed. Take the box open it and check for the vacuum seal. If you hear that, you know it's great. You can also lift the whole thing up by one of the edges. Take the side cutter and cut the back open or use an X-Acto knife to open up the back. Be careful, don't cut your fingers because you don't want to have any wounds. So take the spool out of the bag. There's also a little bag of silica that makes sure that the filament keeps dry. I reused the boxes so I put an X on it so that I know that that box is empty. This is how it is on the spool. Heat up your printer using the menu 210 degrees or 205. You can use that as well. Some printers have in the menu that you can heat up and then unload the filament. Take the old piece out if there is an old piece. Cut it in a 45 degree angle so that it is nice and smooth for getting into the extruder. Always make sure that if you are going to put the filament through, make sure that it is all straight. This type of extruder is a little bit uh, difficult or use a screwdriver to help a little bit. In the end, you will manage it to get it in. So if you're pushing manually the filament to the Bowden tube, in the end, everything will come out, out of the nozzle. A lot of 3D printers nowadays have also this function within the menu. And then the filament will purge out of the nozzle. If the filament doesn't run smoothly to, through the extruder, just use some compressed air. If you store your filament back into the shelf, put it like that. This direct drive is an easy treat X1. Cut the filament in a 45 degree angle. Put the filament on top of the extruder till it doesn't go anymore. Plus button and then it starts extruding. You can see that on the nozzle. If you hold the filament just a little bit, then you can feel the filament pulling on your fingers. And then press the plus button again. Also this direct drive, put the filament in then press the button and also make sure to have heated up the hot end. So I hope this video helped you with loading the filament onto your 3D printer. If you have some issues or some other things, please let me know in the comments. I would love to help you out in a future video or maybe just in the comments. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Oye Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixem Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams and YJ. And also the subscriber shout out goes to Colin Curtin. Thanks for subscribing to this YouTube channel and answering the question from Andrew Smith about the Focus Odin 5 F3 3D printer. Which kind of filaments can you use on this 3D printer? Well, on the site from focustech.com, they state that this 3D printer can print something like PLA, PLA+, TPU, ABS, and PETG. But the most recommended filaments type to use on this 3D printer is PLA and PLA+. It's most ideal and I hope that this answered your question. So yes, you can use PLA and PLA+, but if you are going to use PETG on that glass bed, make sure to have some layer in between like glue stick or some other layer in between your print and your glass bed or else your glass bed will break after removal from the patch G model. If you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media and we see each other next time. Peace, bye bye.